if police want to find out any information about anybody in this estate, it's you they should come and ask. You see, you see their son, you see, you see this boy that's coming out of the car, you see. You see? remember when these people moving? <clears throat> that one in the house there. So from that day, I know that we got trouble in the estate. Wow. They are troublemakers. Uh -huh. Today, they were quarreling and shouting at each other. Mm. That van there, the one that parked it. The one in front, the one that parked it. <laughs> The one in the middle there yeah, is a soldier guy and he's not always there. The window is always blocked. So only when it's summertime when it comes that his window is open. Uh -huh. And of course that woman there, that hat hat doctor, or whatever she says she is, mm -hmm. that one there with those little little children that used to come and play in front of her. The one in front of us, I should be you know who they are. Yeah. You know them, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are Why are you laughing people. about these people in front of us? Yeah? <laughs> Why? Ah, police come and catch me. <laughs> it's not a crime to say that the neighbors here are gay. It's ah, not a crime. Oh, you know, that guy there, that one day, you know, they were, the one who came in, they were just about to get married. And they've now got a baby, you know, and their mother and their father, they used to live on the other side. They moved with one of their brothers again, and his son and his wife. I don't know what happened, the wife just left. Then my mother used to take the boy out to school and everything. And that kid that used to live at the top here, you know, she was single. And she met her boyfriend, as if her boyfriend now bought a house on that side. So that's where they are now. My friend, the other gay, you know. <laughs> that was always sucking. When his, his girlfriend goes, he was sucking around the world. It's not his girlfriend. It's, it's another man. Okay. It's okay. his boyfriend. It's his boyfriend. Oh. Yeah, he used to be like a <laughs> But I go and sleep. The rest, I think they are, I don't want to say, Shinnok's brothers. Who is she knock? Your former president. Your former, yeah. Oh, is she, she, she... <laughs> Mama, don't be racist. Is that being racist? Yes. Are you too? But that's where they come from. They're brothers. Oh, wow. This is the new Nigerian people that just moved here. Yeah, they, are they your brothers? Uh -huh. They're your brothers, brothers and sisters. sisters. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Uh, what do you know about the Nigerian people that moved in down there? <laughs> <laughs> The children there, they left their bike outside. Mm. She brought the daughter. Mm -hmm. The daughter went there and was playing with the with, 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 with the with the with their bike. Okay. I tell you what she doing there. Yes, you didn't she go did. out and tell them to me. Okay. You know, I'm always on the window. <laughs> yes, I know. That's why you know the history beginning to end of everybody in this whole place. The only person I know is my next door neighbor. I'm Where is Baba Lajas Lajas Lajas. dog? Have you seen his dog lately? No. Then he's not Babalaja anymore. It's, it's, you know, it's Babalaja, but... Where's the dog? The thing is that he's not always around, you know. Okay. Sometimes I think maybe he leaves that place for short blood. Okay. Like this winter time now, Babalaja will not be around him. Mm -hmm. He has somewhere he goes to stay mm -hmm. during winter time. I'm the one that named Babalaja happy. Yeah, you named him Babalaja. Remember that the one I saw one van there that was being suspicious, so I called police, remember? You did? Ah, you remember? Ah, not knowing that. <laughs> that what? <laughs> Not knowing that what, Mama, confess it. They are saying. Not knowing that at the bottom of Abalaja's flat, that's where they have their bin. So they, they are contractors that have just been contracted to collect the so bins. So they were not sure. That's where why to they go. Were, eh, eh. Hmm. You would have just gotten those poor men in trouble for doing their job. Yeah, well, they should be careful next time that they don't know who is watching them. Do you know the guy? That couple that used to stay next to her neighbor here, uh -huh. the other side. Yeah. You know, they moved out. Why? The other one that moved in, the woman, they said she's a nurse as well. One day I saw her, she came out to me in her, in her pajamas and her as, as, as coat. And when she said, I said, come on, catch me. You just went out in your Udi to drop the girls at school with me. It's different. It's, it's not different. It's the same. She went mm. across the road. Mm. I went from the, from the, it's a little door room mm. into the car. Okay. Nobody sees me. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. All right. She walked across the road to her car. In her dressing gown. Yes, exactly. But sometimes she sees me, she says hello. Uh -huh. I say hello to her. I mean the husband. So. Nobody because greets me in this they area. Know, they know that you don't want to greet people. Ah. They know that you are very reserved. Okay. They know that you, you all you do is to drive inside and go to your house. You don't go anywhere. Mm. You know this attitude of yours. It's oh. been on with you since you are small. Wow. Mm -hmm. You are always sitting now in your comfort of your own. When you sat down on the balcony one day, and that's really that guy that live on our street. Mm -hmm. So what have we done? 
<laughs> to see her emergency gracing her balcony today. <laughs> I think the guy used to fancy, but he doesn't know how to talk to you. Oh. And so many guys that used to fancy you, they were afraid to talk to you, you know. Oh, really? But they think you are mommy's baby. I was. They're afraid that your mommy will come and beat them up. You would have. Oh, but you know. Even till today. When yeah. we first moved there, remember now? What? Remember what happened? Oh, no. You have forgotten? I've forgotten. When Mohammed brought his friends and they gave her a knock at the door, asked her to come out. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I was at home that day. They came and knocked at the door mm -hmm. and asked you to come out. Really? Eh, to come and do to what? Come and play with them to come out. Play with them. I don't. Yes. At what, what age? I, I was only you. like fourteen or 15. yeah, yeah, forty, fifteen or so. What play am I going to play with them? They just told you to come out. Now, what time will they come out? You to come out to come and do? So when I told you, no, but I do not bring any child to this essay for any of you. So if I ever. Hey. See you at my door any if I ever Hi. ever again did they dare knock ever, on that ever, door. Ever, oh, mama even talk to me for some time. He didn't want to greet me, he didn't want to talk to me. I said, What's wrong with you? Greet me, Joe. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> so <laughs> let's talk about all the ways that you prevented boys and men from coming to talk to me. Don't do your face like that. Did I? Hey, mama. Why? When? Mama, what Talk about the boy who knocked on the door downstairs? Mm -hmm. What did you go and tell him? Mm. See this door, mm. don't cross it anymore. Mm. Just don't cross this, mm. not this, uh, mm. this door you are standing. The, the door gates, in front, the, the gates. gates of this house. Don't ever try. Hmm. Oh, do you understand me? Mm. I'll tell you gently, yes. and then you don't you ever. And I'll be forceful yes. about it as well. Yes. If I see you. Hey. Yes. I say if you <coughs> what about the other boys? I don't know any other boys. You just, what about the ones at church? Those all can't even try. Mm -hmm. You see, you see me, you don't see trouble. So that's why those ones were too scared to even approach they were... me. To the extent that one of them decided to write me a note and it, said it, that it, I should not show my mother. It, it, that, it, 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 it's, <laughs> <laughs> in his life. <laughs> you will never forget. I it's took really... his case to the top. You want to go and face the disciplinary council? Wow! For what? Yes. For writing me a note. Exactly. Wow! You should come and meet him at the hotel, the Niger Palace Hotel. Really, I can't exactly. Even remember. Exactly. Oh, ni wa mo la ye o ni. Because he yeah. didn't realize that I would show you mm -hmm. the notes. Yeah. They thought that you were being, I was being controlled by mm -hmm. you. But that boy, though, that one, I welcome that boy that with the boy with the. With one with the teeth. That's the one you will welcome. No, you know why? The boy was so humble. Mm. You two, you like him. What is his name? What was what, his name? John. Why do you remember his name? <laughs> See, they are to ask you. Eh. Yes. <laughs> you will buy five dollar bread. <laughs> <laughs> for who? For me? I don't have That's money. That's my gift. I, I, yeah, I didn't have money. I don't have money. Very, but this was what I have. It was struggling. <laughs> Which was so sweet, though. It was so sweet. I remember Ibo. That's the one. I don't even remember that I yeah. met Ibo before. I don't think you did. Mm. That one was very smart. He will not come at the time he knows that I will come. How does he know the time that you Ah, uh, it's a spy. Wow. I really don't think it was that deep. In your school, I'm talking about. It At uni. It doesn't come to the house. Oh. That's what I was saying. I was ah, going to say, I don't no. remember him coming to the house. never come to the house. Um, At uni, I mm -hmm. only ever saw my medalag once. Okay. And that was the day that I had a date with that other guy. I won't mention his name. That okay. was that dark skin guy. Remember? Which is that? In church. Is? The dark skin guy. In church. Do you remember? <laughs> you know the one? You know the one I mean? Yeah? <laughs> I had a date with that one. And Oyimbo came to, to see me. So I had to now leave Oyimbo and say, oh, I'm, I'm going out. I think I told him I was going on a date with somebody. And he's, you know, he said, okay, that if he's still here when I get back, then, you know, we'll chat. So I left. I went on this date with this guy. Okay. I was so bored. Oh, my goodness. Trying to hide the yawning. Yeah, because he's older than And well, told him I was just tired. He was just bored. talking about himself. It was basically the way he talked was like, I would be lucky to, to have him. 
No, I just started thinking, so I'm sitting here with somebody that is boring me to death. And there's somebody that's waiting for me that I actually enjoy talking to. No, by the time I got back, we both had gone. And that was that. And this one too, I welcome him too now. And the doctor. You did not welcome him. I did not welcome him. No. You did not welcome him. You did not welcome me to have a boyfriend. Okay. When you came to see me in my hostel room and I was sitting on the bed having terrible period cramps and he was sitting on the bed next to me trying to make me laugh to cheer me up because I wasn't feeling well. And you came in and you saw that and you blew a gasket and ordered me to come home the next morning. You remember? No. You don't you will remember. How will you remember? Mm. You ordered me to come home the next morning. And I came for it for a talk. Okay. And I came home. Mm. You sat me down. You said we will begin this discussion with a prayer. <laughs> That's when I knew that my life was in danger. <laughs> that you needed to pray. <laughs> so because I was sitting down talking to a boy, mm. nothing oh on the bed. There were no chairs in the room. If, in case you've forgotten, it was just bunk beds. Only the two of you. There were other people in the room, Mamak. No, My right? roommates were, were in the they? room. Yes, they? They yes. They? There were other people in oh, the room. Oh, I yes. didn't notice. Then you gave me a good grilling. Serious talk. I was just being a loving mother. Oh, okay. And you wonder why I'm still single today. A caring mother. Men that wanted to marry you. That, that were age. old. Old, yes. I said, I was looking at them. Those dirty old I, men. I was just looking at them. Like they're in their forties. <laughs> and I was 16. <laughs> you Are you okay in your head? Dirty, disgusting old men. You see, what I say about men that... Oh, no, no, no. Mm. What about... What do you want to talk about that one for? Ah! That, one, that one was behaving as if he has a banjo. Oh! As if one juju was following him. One minute is, is cool and loving and whatever. The next minute he start talking as like if he was being possessed. I start looking at you. I was scared that what was this guy turning my daughter into? You are the one who Kuku brought him to me. I was I. How? What do you mean how, remind, Mama? You remind me. You, uh, how is it that you remember everything except the one that you did? That didn't work. Why do you not remember those ones, Mama? You told him about me. You introduced us there and then. You brought him to the house. Ah! Hey, Mom. Look at how she's doing her face. You will not remember that one. The only people you ever allowed me to date are the people that you brought for me to date. And then anyone the that I'm, I'm the, bringing, the, the you chase them. No, you see, they because they're pretenders. But the ones I brought, you chase them. Which one did you bring? No, you that brought them. You chase them. You, you chase Oyibo. You chase. I never met Oyibo like Yemi, and you know that. You didn't even have to meet him for you to chase him. The one that you told me that I should go and give him his card back at school, I should throw it in his face oh, and tell no. him that he should never give me card again. You were in secondary school? Yes. Because you were still 16 or 17. Oh, okay. 16 or 17. Okay. Even the church was telling you that you can date at 16. 18. Not... He's 16. 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 Go and find out. Go and check the manuals. He's 16. Of course, I remember. I was I was a teenager, so I remember. And I was also young women's president at one point. So I remember. 18 years It was 16. Ah, hey. It was 16. So it was 16. You can check it. What about the one that bought a whole car? He, he said he bought me a Toyota Celica. <laughs> <laughs> because my name is Celia. Uh, but he bought a car for you. Uh, Dirty liar. It, it, come on, be talking chats. <laughs> that one came as a family friend. Yes. But you encouraged him. No. What do you mean, no? Please, can we not talk about that one? Because uh, <laughs> that's your biggest, biggest mistake. Biggest, please, biggest mistake, that one. Don't talk about you can't that. even bring yourself to talk about it. I cannot want to bring myself. Mm. I cannot. I do not. Let me swear. I, I don't. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, 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 ah. You want to cry. What about me? <laughs> I say snake under the grass. That's number one. Somebody that you can say snake under the grass. Under the green, green snake under, under the, the green, green grass. grass. I should have married you to one rich man, old oh, man okay. that's about 20 years older than you wow yes so that i'll be a widow uh -uh. at the age of what you know, 50 you will not be a widow by now i probably would have been no no the man will not die how oh. you enjoy your life with him 
or oh, he's so old, uh, then he will die and then I'll be on my own. Uh, you'll be old that time. You'll be 90 and you'll be 70 because the man will have loved and cherished you so well because you're a good girl, a loving girl, a pretty girl, an intelligent girl, you know, good hearted girl. And my prayers and God will have supported you in that okay. marriage. In that marriage.